my friends. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of My Antics. Today we have a very special video. The first video showing our My Antics ant room. We have a lot that we have to do to this room in the months to come, but for now, we'll be moving in our first official My Antics colony into our My Antics vortex nest with Outworld. After that, we'll be talking about parasitic larvae that infect queens. More precisely, Glamorado wasp larvae, which infect queens, caterpillars, beetles, and other large insects. When the larvae become big enough, they bust out the stomach of all the insects that they're inside of, and there can be up to a hundred larvae in one insect. But more about that in a little while. For those family members who have not seen the nest and do not follow us on our Facebook groups, the Myantix Vortex nest has been done for about a week now after the final adjustments and tweaks were made to make sure that it was perfection in the making. Let's start off with the Myantix Vortex nest. In a previous video, we talked about the water base, the nest, the top, and the plugs. For a quick review of the Outworld, you have two ports that go from the nest to the tubes. Both tubes go on either side of the Outworld, giving a round robin effect for the ants to come and go. Let's move our new colony in after we introduce them and see exactly what their first impressions are of our new masterpiece. Let's meet and say hello to our first colony of the Myantix Ant Room, our Camponatus Discolor Colony. These little ladies have went above and beyond expectations for a beginning colony. Their brood pile is about as massive as the amount of workers they've had in the last few months. She is in every way, shape, and form a genius. We're going to need a name for these little girls, and I'm really going to leave it up to the Myantix family to decide exactly what we should call her. If you have an idea for their name, leave it down below in the comments, and after a week or two, whoever has the most likes on the commented name will be the official Discolor name. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's move these girls into their new home, that they will live happily ever after. To set things up right, to introduce their test tube into their home before they go anywhere else, we're going to want to disconnect one of the Outworld ports and take the tubing off as well. Now I'm going to grab a cotton ball and we're going to take a small piece of cotton and put it in the Outworld hole. This is just temporary while we move the ants in so they don't have a way to escape once they find their new Outworld. The nest is designed for the holes to have the exact tight fit for a 16mm test tube. And success! The ants rush in with excitement wondering exactly where they are. We have a first lone scout to run into the nest. She looks excited and I don't blame her at all. She's happy that they finally have an area to run around in that isn't a circular tube. Now she's running back to the rest of the colony to give them the exciting new news that their test tube leads to another area.
very interested in exactly what's going on and what could be possibly in the new area they have to explore. to a little bit of a shadier subject on hand. Here is our Campanatus queen that we caught quite recently. After she ripped her wings off and laid a small pile of eggs, she later that day died from a swollen abdomen, which means that her insides right now have a whole army of glamorata parasitic larvae spinning and swirling around. But instead of killing these larvae, I would like to do a little bit more research and see exactly what they look like when they start to move into their metamorphosis. For a quick side note on our experiment, once they come out of the queen, I want to have a home ready for them inside of a deli cup with some grout. We're going to add a fresh killed roach to see exactly where they go and something that they can burrow into along with eat before they turn into cocoons. Hopefully, if this experiment is a success, we can grow our own Glamorata wasps right for the whole family to see. To end on an amazing note, it's only been a half an hour since I started doing the Glamorata wasp experiment with you guys. I turn around to find the test tube is completely empty. Not only that, but I see a worker in the outworld. She looks like she's quite happy with the little bit of cat food that I gave her. Probably getting ready to bring it back to her queen and tell her all about the new area she explored. Let's take a look inside and see exactly what these little girls are up to. How amazing. They moved in so quick. Every single egg, every cocoon, and every worker has taken refuge in one of the port tubes. It'll probably take them a little while to explore to the middle of the vortex nest, but it's amazing how quick they did that, right behind us. what they're going to do next, but I have a good feeling we're going to find them inside that roach sooner than later. But that's for a later time. For right now, I'm glad you guys stayed tuned and I hope you enjoyed the video. You all have a wonderful night and remember, forever, happy ant keeping.